Hi Prep 4, so this is for the end of the geography lesson or, or actually if you just feel like you need to get up and get a little bit active at any point just to give your brain a little bit of a break. We're going to play a game called Which Layer? I am going to read out a series of clues for you and all of the clues are in relation to a particular layer of the rainforest. Now, rather than writing down your answer or rather than um, thinking it in your head just while you're sat still at your desk or on the sofa or wherever you are, um, you are going to answer through the form of an action. I'll go through the actions now. So you need to learn these if you can. There's only four because obviously there's only four layers of the rainforest. So the first one, if the answer to my clue is for the emergent layer, you need to stand up. And you need to have your hands above your head like this. Try and get as tall as you can, like those tall trees that live in the emergent layer. The next is if the answer is for the canopy layer, you need to stand up, but you need to have your arms out wide. You could have your legs out wide as well. Get as wide as you can. The third answer is the understory, where you stand up and you touch your toes. I can't do that, I'm afraid, even with my Christmas socks on. Um, but you need to stand up and touch your toes or get as far down as you possibly can. And the final answer is the forest floor, which is you just crouch down on the floor. So we've got emergent layer, canopy layer, nice and wide, understory layer, forest floor. Should we do that one more time? Emergent layer, canopy layer, understory layer, and forest floor. I can see you're all doing an amazing job. It's brilliant. So now what I'm going to do is read out the clues and you're going to get active. I'm a little bit out of breath already, so I'm not going to join in with the clues. I'll just, I'll just read through them and I will tell you the answer a couple of seconds after I've said it, just so if you're in that position, you know you've got it right. So first clue, trees in this layer can be as tall as 60 metres. What are you going to be? It is emergent. So well done if you're stretched up nice and tall. Next one. This layer gets almost no sunlight whatsoever. Have a think. Get into your position. Well done if you're crouching down to the forest floor. The forest floor um, gets hardly any sunlight. Next clue. Many insects live here. Where do the majority of insects live? Well done if you are trying to touch your toes as you're being the understory. Next one. This layer gets the most rain and sunlight. The most rain and sunlight. If you're nice and stretched out wide, well done as the answer was canopy. Okay, next one. Um, it is windy and cold here. It is windy and cold. That is the emergent layer. Well done if you're stretching up upright. Trees in this layer form a roof over lower layers. Trees in this layer form a roof over lower layers. Well done if you're being a canopy. This layer is dark, hot and humid. Which layer would be for dark, hot and humid? That's the understory, so well done if you're touching your toes. Next one, almost no plants grow in this layer. Almost no plants grow in this layer. You should be touching the floor as it is the florist floor. That's the answer. Final few. So back to your starting position upright. Gorillas, leopards and tigers live here. Where do they live? Get into your position now. Well done if you're touching the floor again. It's the forest floor. Next one. Monkeys, bats and butterflies live here. Monkeys, bats and butterflies live here. That's the tallest one, the emergent layer. So well done if you're stretching up. Next one. Plants in this layer are no taller than three metres. Plants in this layer are no taller than three metres. Well done if you're touching your toes. That's for the understory. Final one. Snakes, toucans and tree frogs live here. Where do snakes, toucans and tree frogs live? Well done if you're nice and wide and you've made yourself into the canopy. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, you could always create your own facts and play this little game with anybody else in your house at the moment, as it's quite nice to get up and get active. Um, if you do have a go, let me know. I hope you enjoy.